hello everyone um today i'm really proud to present my first oil painting speed paint um yeah so i've been getting really into oil painting and uh, honestly it's kind of my medium of choice right now I, I used to acrylic paint and i like acrylic painting but oil painting is everything that i want from acrylic painting that i couldn't get and i i didn't really know that much about it until I saw like YouTube videos about it and all of that sort of stuff and now I'm like really into it um it's a little difficult when you start uh, I started this summer and yeah it was definitely really hard um when I started but now I'm like uh pretty comfortable with it um there, there, there's definitely some stuff that I need to improve on like mixing and stuff but otherwise pretty comfortable with it um definitely get better effects than I get with acrylic just because of the mixing time and all of that stuff um so what you're watching is my second oil painting um yeah uh my first one I couldn't record because I, I just kind of started it at a weird time and yeah that wasn't really up for recording but this one I was like I'm gonna record all of it and I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel and exciting exciting <laughs> um so uh as you saw at the beginning uh i had the sketch or well okay i have a sketch um this isn't my vlog if you watch my vlog or whatever but i had a sketch and i sketched it in my sketchbook and then i put it on my computer screen and i transferred it um yeah that was kind of a complicated process but yeah i got it to the size that i wanted and then i like traced it onto a computer paper and then i like colored the back with a graphite stick and then I traced it onto my board and yeah that was kind of a lot to do but yeah I got there <laughs> um yeah um in my sketch I didn't really have a background or anything so I just kind of went to Pinterest and found a couple of background things that I liked and you know like put them together and sort of altered them well I didn't like alter them like on Photoshop I just kind of like altered them mentally like this is kind of really similar to the background that I found, but like all of the colors are different and the placement is really different. Um, and like I, I added a lot of stuff, but yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> um, um, I talk a lot in my vlog about the concept of the piece and all of that stuff. Um, I'll, I'll talk about it quickly now because I have 11 minutes to feel to fill with like talking so so might as well um so the title of the piece is Eve is the mother earth and it's like the part one and it's called distance and I kind of want to make this a series and um obviously it's gonna have this character Eve and she's gonna be doing different things and I, I, it's like an exploration of like my spirituality and also like my ideas of like um women and their perception and media and all of that all of that great stuff <laughs> um and and yeah so it's about like women and also spirituality and also just like nature and fun things um yeah <laughs> uh so I guess I can talk about the actual process a little bit more and what I struggled with and what I didn't struggle with. Like I said, this is only my second oil painting, so there's some things that I struggled with a lot. Um, as you see right now, I spent an absurd amount of time on the skin, and that's not because I like wanted to refine the skin and the skin is the most important part. It's because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> like, like. Uh, I, I realized this in the process of doing uh, the skin that I don't really actually know how skin works and I kept pulling up references and references and re references and I just got further and further into the I actually don't know how this works sort of place because skin has this like especially dark skin has this like weird thing with like saturation and like some parts are grayer than other parts and like some parts are redder and then some parts are like yellower and some parts are like browner and oh my god it's so complicated actually um but yeah i'm like really bad at skin so i've been trying to do some skin studies and stuff um which only made me realize how how much worse at skin i am than i thought i was but you know <laughs> um um yeah 
Uh, another thing that I realized that I'm not particularly great at is finishing things, and and not like finishing. That that's so that's such a weird way to say it. But um, once I started the background, I got into this place where I was like, how do I know if this is done? And that's like a really complicated place to be at because you just keep touching things until you kind of think it's done. But yeah, that that specifically happened to the background with me. I would, I would just keep going and I'd be like, uh, I don't want to touch it anymore. And I'd be like, should I keep touching it? Uh, and then I would, and then, you know, but yeah, the, the only way to solve that is just intuition and hope, <laughs> just intuition and hope. And, um, yeah, uh, trying to get things as finished as the actual body is generally how I go about that. Um, like get everything to like the same amount of finish that the body has because I know when the body is finished but it's a lot more difficult for me to like tell when a tree is finished or anything and I also tried to keep in mind um perspective like atmospheric perspective and how that like sort of fogs things out closer to the back and how like things would be less defined in the back so um that was helpful also I've been watching like a lot of Bob Ross um, I, I haven't really been watching it. It's just kind of been on while I like do art and yeah, that was like super helpful for like the trees and stuff and like figuring out tree anatomy and tree anatomy, tree anatomy. <laughs> but yeah, like all of that kind of stuff is like super helpful to me. Um, and yeah, like this isn't like my first painting or anything like that. So it's not like. I don't want to be like, this is so great, but like, it's pretty okay, but it's not like this is like the first time I've ever touched oil paint or anything. Um, but like, I, I worked with acrylic for a really long time, so it's not like I'm going into this cold, you know? Um, so yeah, um, also I, I learned a lot of things about like glazing and all while I was doing this. Um, it's like a combination of me watching a lot of videos and... I started my painting class and there's like a lot of talk about glazing and all of that kind of stuff um it's really hard actually um not not hard as in like difficult to do it's just kind of difficult to like time for me um yeah I I'm really bad at like waiting for the paint to dry and knowing when the paint is dry and and all of that sort of stuff like like I, I'll like because I use Galkit, the paint dries pretty quickly. But sometimes I use like less or more, and I don't really like measure it or anything. I just kind of do what I think feels right. And so sometimes the Galkit will dry in like four hours, and sometimes the paint won't dry for like for like four days. And it's really hard to time that. Um, so yeah, there's that. God, it's so hard to talk for like eleven straight minutes about a painting. Um, um, but yeah, I got pretty okay at glazing, especially, uh, glazing the, like, tint things. Like, I had to tint a lot of those trees and stuff and make them, like, darker or lighter so that they could, like, push to the background or to the foreground. And that was great. Um, yeah, I, I figured out how to do that. And also, a lot of this has, like, a lot of texture on it. Um, I'm saying a lot, but, like, like, not a lot, but, like, you can see the texture on it and I really like that like it's fun <laughs> um so that's something else like it's definitely not completely completely flat I I don't want to say I can't paint like that but I, I don't particularly see a need to paint like that no 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 real reason like like especially like in places like the waterfalls and all of that like I'm not gonna like make that like white part like super flat like that's unnecessary to me <laughs> um yeah what else uh oh um so another very dumb thing that i decided to do <laughs> i decided to do it at the last minute and i regretted it um it's actually i don't think i videoed it because i was just i was just like tinkering and messing with things but i changed her face it was literally after it was done like i i didn't video it because the painting was done and I changed her face and I kept messing with it and I hated the way I changed it and I was like I wanted to be back to the original and I had to like use paint thinner and get some paint off and like 
a lot of stuff but it's, it's not exactly as the as like it looks in this video but it's really close or better so <laughs> really close or better is good enough um yeah i was struggling with what to do with her eyes the whole time especially since i never had her eyes like painted in and i just love the way that looked but i was like i kind of want her to have green eyes and not just like no pupil or anything but no pupil kind of look cool you know <laughs> Um, but now, like, in the, in the final painting, um, she just kind of has, like, this, like, grayish, cloudy, storm kind of eye, you know, and that's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, uh, if you can see, like, those, like, ribbons and the bone and stuff, I talk about this a little bit more in my vlog, but those, like, ribbons and the bone and all of that stuff, that was kind of the general, like reason why i wanted to paint this like i thought it was such a cool concept not not a cool concept but i was like it's so pretty i want to paint this and and that was pretty much it like like yeah so here's the painting <laughs> yeah this voiceover is probably garbage but you know uh yeah here's some goofy detail shots with my iphone um but yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bow.